As the world celebrates World TB Month, the Department of Health has called on South Africans to save a life by doing early screening. The department says South Africans should help themselves and their friends and family by using all available TB screening platforms to test for TB. Health officials say tuberculosis is a major health challenge in South Africa. The country has one of the highest TB burdens in the world. Authorities say the government has made significant efforts to combat TB, including implementing the World Health Organization's recommended directly observed treatment short course strategy. The strategy involves providing patients with a combination of medication and ensuring that they take them under supervision. TB advocacy manager in the National Department of Health, Pumlani Kulmiya, joins us now for some insights. A very good evening to you, and thank you so much for speaking to us. So, uh, in 2023, I'd imagine that given the fact that TB is curable, particularly with uh, early detection also accessible, uh, is it, why is it still such a major problem? It is a major problem because most of the people are not aware that they may have tuberculosis. They may not have the symptom that you know of tuberculosis, they like your night sweats, your fever, loss of appetite, loss of weight, and all that. But they may still have the disease and they may continue infecting other people with the disease. So it is very important for us to screen early for TB so that those people can be put on treatment and then we can bring about an end to their illness and to TB eventually. Mm. And there are many means of early screening in terms of preventing first tuberculosis. But what we've done as the Department of Health and Partners is to develop a TB screening tool, which we call the TB Health Check Screening Tool. And this tool can be used by anyone who has a cell phone, whether it is a, what we call a, the other type of cell phone or the non-Android cell phone or the smart cell phone or any type of cell phone, one can use it and screen himself or herself. So when everyone screens himself, then we can be in a position to be advised by the screening tool itself to go to a health facility if we are suspected of TB. Then you can get tested and have TB confirmed if there is and be told that no we are free of TB and then you can go back to our respective residences. This tool is very important and anyone can use this, t this tool whether you have a time or no airtime. It's not only used by smartphones but also by those that don't have smartphones. I, I just want to talk about whether there has been an evolution in the strategy of how we deal with TB now and uh, going back to a time when there were challenges of stockouts and people, for instance, uh, not completing the course of the medication. We know one of the biggest challenges is that even when people are diagnosed and they are on treatment, they don't always finish their treatment. The people not finishing their treatment is quite a big challenge and it is one of the causes for us to actually fail as a country to arrest the spread of tuberculosis in our country. It is very important that when people are started on treatment, they complete their treatment and they'll be told that they are healed only by the healthcare worker, the one who's been administering treatment to them. If one then stops treatment, it means that the TB will resurface at some time within a very short space of time. And the type of TB now that that person will have will be stronger to normal treatment and will require stronger drugs for it to be treated. Thus, putting a strain onto the healthcare system and on the lives of the people around them because the effect, to be infected with this uh, kind of tuberculosis is actually going to cost more and perhaps longer for one to be treated, even though we're actually making strides in terms of introducing new TB drugs that actually make the treatment of the condition faster. Mm. I'm glad you speak about the issue of drugs because I wanted to find out what 
innovation has there been in science to deal with uh, TB? You spoke about the digital aspects interventions you as a health department are employing that one can, it's as easy as one using their cell phone, but what about people who don't have cell phones? And also talk to us about uh, the kind of research and development that is underway, particularly in South Africa. As a department, we make greater use of community radios so as to inform the general public. And you would know that community radios uh, actually are broadcast in all languages of South Africa. And therefore, people do get education and awareness on those platforms. Over and above the issue of uh, making them aware through those radio stations and platforms, they, we have pamphlets for those that can actually read that are available at all public health facilities that inform people of tuberculosis. And uh, I would say that as a department, we're actually doing more in creating awareness uh, about the disease and how one can actually prevent himself or herself uh, from uh, getting the disease. And when one gets the disease, what one can do in terms of visiting facilities. In terms of uh, introducing new drugs, yes, in terms of uh, research and development, there have been successes which we as a country we have adopted because now we've introduced a shorter, what we call shorter regimens of treatment where people that have a tuberculosis that used to be treated for, for longer than six months, now is treated in a period of six months and shorter. Even those that had the multi drug resistant, what we call multi drug resistant tuberculosis, are no longer now treated for more than nine months to 12 months to 18 months as it was the case in the past. The treatment, uh, uh, period has actually been significantly reduced to almost nine months in other cases. South Africa being a high burden country when we talk about uh, TB and the campaign this year, the slogan being, yes, we can end it. What will it take for South Africans to end tuberculosis? Yes, testing and all of those things, but I'm just trying to understand for things where people almost don't always take TB seriously. As we say, it is something that can be fatal. As the department, we have uh, developed together with SANAC the National Strategic Plan uh, for Tuberculosis, uh, HIV and STIs. And this plan, that is 20, for the period 23 to year 28, and this plan is geared at involving all sectors of society, civil society, your faith-based entities, your traditional leadership, and all other uh, entities to be part and parcel uh, of efforts that are aimed at bringing a significant reduction to these uh, uh, diseases. So we as a country have got strategies in place. Uh, we are also looking at mobilizing resources where there have been, there have been no resources available. Uh, all forms of resources should be made available so that we can bring an end to the scourge of tuberculosis in the country. Because we cannot stay in a situation where we have a disease that is completely treatable, where we have drugs that are freely available at all public health facilities. And we are doing all, by all means, to use every platform available to inform the public that we should actually be aware of this disease and we should know what the signs and symptoms are and when we, are, we have actually found ourselves with the condition to go to public health facilities and get the necessary treatment so that you can be healed and prevent the spread of the TB. Mm. Artificial intelligence is something that has that is being leaned on just in terms of digital technology and advancements. What are the department's plan of engaging this? Um, are you using bots to encourage people to speak to people and educate them further, those who do have access to technology? The department is not a, a kind of a, not doing anything in terms of technological uh, progress, and especially with regard, with regard to diagnosis of the tuberculosis uh, disease. We've developed digital experts that actually bring results uh, to patients within the space of uh, two hours, uh, if available, uh, in that, that given facility, 
So patients can, uh, people who suspect that they may have tuberculosis can go to a facility that has this uh, technology and be diagnosed with this technology and be given their results, whether they have the tuberculosis or not, within a space of two hours, and be immediately put on treatment. So as a department, we are not actually standing still and not actually engaging in the technological field and era. So as well as it comes to issues that regard to artificial intelligence. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Of course, the goal is to end TB by 2030. TB Advocacy Manager in the National Department of Health, Pumlani Klimia.